Okay, how are you? We here we are uh, just uh, finishing the the project with uh -huh. uh, with Media Lab. We have the next uh, two weeks ahead to to close down everything and and to prepare like a, a final document. And, and we are also preparing to do the uh, following Wednesday uh, a final workshop with, uh, with citizens and and, uh, and the city council and people from, from city council just to make like a, a mock-up of, uh, of our, our proposal, so. Okay, that sounds good. And the other day I was, uh, I was mm, checking the, um, the documents that you uh, sent me about your priorities and, and, and better uh, Reykjavik. And I take some notes here to, to ask and to, to, to discuss some things with you. I'm trying to find it. Uh, okay, here. Okay, yeah. Well, about uh, your priorities was were a couple of things that that I really like it. Uh, first of all, this this. Uh, this thing that you have in the in the argument that you are separating the the points for and against, so it's not like above, and so we can start our discussion. And uh, and also one thing that, that that I think it was interesting that you have in your practice when you go in in the in the first uh, interface of your practice, you have like create community. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask about this because I don't know how it works. I mean, it's like communities outside. Uh, it, it's not linked. This, these communities are not linked with uh, with the specific uh, projects or proposal. Am I right? It's like communities of, uh, I don't know, uh, gardens in the city or communities about whatever you, you can create your community about whatever you want it, it can be different i mean yes you could create a community around the specific uh, project or proposal but in most cases the community would be closer to like what a community is in the offline world so it could be a city or a town or a neighborhood or or uh, even uh, yeah, like a small area where, where people want to do something or where they live or where they work or you see what I mean just like mm -hmm. like a community in the in the uh, in the traditional sense and then inside that you would be creating uh, like uh, groups to use inside that community okay but but then when when you I mean if you want to create a community around uh, whatever topics you want, uh, you click on that, on that, and and that one. What happened next? I mean, what what the what the um, digital platform offers you as a community? Uh, really, it is just like a a normal hierarchy in the sense that you have your priorities on top then on the next level you have communities and then on the third level you have groups not exist outside of communities so if you have a project in which you only need one group a very specific thing maybe then you still have to create a community which only contains one group so okay so what is happening for example in the city of city of Reykjavik is that we create new groups or different projects, but we, we just have the overall community. So it's uh, it's a bit of an overkill for when you don't only need one group to work with, but it doesn't really matter because it takes less than five minutes to create a new community. 
okay and so then and these groups these groups which are as you said are linked with with a proposal for example mm -hmm. who manage these groups i mean the, the for example the city council has anything to do with with yeah, I mean, with, the, with them or that's totally different in in different cases i mean in in some cases uh, like with the city of Reykjavik they uh, it's uh, commonly managed by by uh, the citizens foundation and the city of Reykjavik uh, in uh, other instances where we are working with like in the Scotland we're working with uh, a, a, a NGO called uh, sorry, democratic democratic society Demsop, and mm -hmm. uh, we create the, the uh, communities and the group inside those communities for their uh, participatory budgeting projects and then the uh, democratic society people with the uh, local councils uh, manage the groups after the creation and we are sort of at the end if they have any problems or anything then they refer to us and most of the time it's something that we like fix within, within the hour or something like that so it's it's totally different depending on how it's done. I mean, if you're to, um, without asking us, which nobody needs to do, there's some, let's say, a, let's say a, a, a group that wants to work with immigrants, uh, wants to use your priorities to find out uh, what would be the best ideas for them to help the immigrants, then they would go there and they would create their own community and they would uh, create also the, the, the group inside that, and they, they never need to contact us. They can just use that as they want to, as long as they don't break the rules of your priority. And basically, the rules of your priorities is more or less the United Nations humanitarian, you know I mean? it's the basic, basic things about how you behave towards all the people. Okay, so so then, the um, I don't know how to explain, but the the platform. I mean, when you create a group, that group doesn't have uh, an specific uh, governance, let's say, linked to that through the platform. It, the groups can organize wherever they want, or mm -hmm. regarding the specifics of of, of the project or, or the topic or whatever they, they can have it if, if they create a secret group then then it's nobody sees it except for them uh, if, if it's an open group and if it gets a lot of traffic then it will go to the front page of your priority okay you can create secret groups okay yeah. Yeah. okay okay if I recall correctly uh, although I haven't checked that in a while but I think you can uh, mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I'm just gonna, just gonna make sure I wasn't telling you anything wrong. Um, yeah, you can create a, a secret group. There are actually three levels of uh, group and community access. And one is public, which is the default, which everything is open and everybody can see it if they either know the link or, or if it's uh, popular enough that it's uh, becomes visible on your priorities. Okay. You also have it closed so that other people can see it. They cannot see what's happening inside it, but they know that the group is and or the community is there. Or you can okay. have it, which means that nobody knows about it except the people that you invite. Okay. And you can what you can also do is you can have a community, let's say that you create an open community and one open group inside that community and uh, then you can create another group inside that community which is secret so people will go into your community and they will only see your open group <laughs> but they will not know that you have a secret group so you can use that for like internal managing if you don't want if you want to to do that within uh, like a smaller group or something like that okay okay but just to be sure uh, or just to be clear on one thing uh, we are definitely not 
we, we definitely would prefer people always to use only the open group because we, yeah, of we believe in transparency and we believe that information should be out in the open. But we also have to be realistic and there have been a lot of uh, questions coming from people asking us before we had the secret group asking us uh, we really need the secret group for our organization otherwise the our uh, enemies or opponents will come and 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 waste our time and maybe damage our project so so that's why this possibility exists because people specifically asked for it okay no i mean it's interesting because um, in fact we we have this uh, debate last week um with the rest of of, of people of civic wise who is working in, in this project about this about if, if we need to make this kind of of, of work groups or communities around projects uh -huh. uh, let them the possibility to to be close or secret or i don't know so because sometimes people doesn't want to to be like i don't know exposed or I don't know, whatever, it's, 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 a, it's a complicated situation. And, and it's a very human thing is that uh, yeah. we speak differently within a closed group of people that we all know than when we think, know that we are speaking to the world. It's, uh, yeah. it's very understandable for sure. Yeah. Uh, on the problem with this uh, very human uh, thing is that it, it, uh, it tends to lead us into uh, like secrecy and, and stuff like that. So. It's not something you can or we can block or want to block, but we have to be aware that it doesn't lead us into just creating small groups of people that all agree on everything and don't go anywhere. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, there's another thing that. Uh, but I didn't understand very well how it works, and is that uh, I saw that uh, in, the, in the the digital tool said that the, the minorities and majorities uh, has the same they an equal uh, weight in in the views of the of the platform. I mean, you can right now, for example, in in in, in Madrid, in the city of Madrid. Uh, mm -hmm. When you go inside, uh, proposals with more views uh, are on the top of the of all of them. So this is also like uh, a thing to debate because then uh, proposal who hasn't not so much uh, support or uh, or views are going to lower and lower and lower and, and yeah. no one uh, is going to 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 know even know about about that proposal yeah. and i i think that, that the, in your priorities uh it doesn't work like like this right yeah it doesn't uh it's i mean what happens is that we this is obviously a matter of, of how you choose in the programming or in the design for the programming, how you choose uh, what is popular or what is important. And what we have on your priorities is we have different uh, data points that we can use to display in a different way. And one of them is obviously how many people have supported an, an idea. And that's the, that's our main data point for for, uh, uh, for deciding whether it's a popular thing or not. If we also have the point for it again, and uh, what happens in your priorities because the debate system is designed in the way it is, is that not only do we get lots more uh, points for an idea that is positive point from why it's a good idea or, or how it should be improved, possibly. But we, we, we actually also use the points against counts as well, because we don't get abuse in there, we don't get 
spam or, or abusive comments or people trying to make a of of other people or even or other people's points or even uh, to basically cross out the interface of the time to basically get opposite data into our system is very, very serious problem. Okay. Okay. Okay, what was one moment uh, in the middle that you were talking that the sound was not very well, but, but it's okay. I think that the, the main idea is like yeah, I got it. <laughs> I can try and repeat it, not the exact same, but it's if you, if you want me to do that, it's no problem. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I think that I, I got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then about better uh, better neighborhoods, um, I have a doubt that because in in our case uh, in the Fiat Madrid, uh, one of the main problems is that some of the proposals are uh, are not very uh, defined. I mean, are like too general and. The proposal made by citizens sometimes are, are, are like to, I mean, uh, ambiguous or general. It's like two sentences that say we want to put trees on the city. I don't know, but it's not that, but it's like not so defined. And then the uh, city council has to take that and like build a execution <laughs> project from that and I don't know if, if you have some kind of the same problem there if I don't know how it, how are the, the proposals that that people made to 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 pay the neighborhood or, or through their priorities if are more or less defined are good enough or or sometimes you find this kind of problem no, yes, this is definitely uh, the weakest point in in the PPs in the participatory budgeting project that I have looked at, and uh, basically, uh, well, in better neighborhoods, we talk specifically about that. Some of the uh, proposals coming in are quite well thought out and quite detailed, mm -hmm. and with people sometimes taking photos and then drawing on the photos or using Google Maps to, to show how they how their project is thought out and things like that. And this has actually been getting better every year, and especially this year when we use the new version of your priority for the idea generation, because it is based on or uses, uh, it's much more graphical than, than the old version was. So it encourages people to add their graphics, which helps a lot of people that are maybe not all really good with text, but good with showing what they're thinking in, in a graphical way. So one thing that's obviously happened here is that, oh yeah, and, and also those ideas are much more likely to get voted and going onwards. So that's one way that things are getting better, and that's when people are participating not for the first time, but maybe for the third or fourth or even fifth time, then people learn because basically people are not stupid. <laughs> it's like, uh, it, people, they see, oh, wow, that's cool that that person is doing. I, I can learn from this. Or, yeah, I remember last time what was what, what working and, like, yeah, let's do more of that. So okay. that's. That's one thing is that both the interface being better and more encouraging to, to, uh, to present your idea with some work behind it, but also obviously as you guys will learn, I think next year if you repeat the process, then people know better how to do it after they've done it once. I mean, that's common sense, obviously. Uh, on the other hand, this is a problem uh, also with better neighborhoods, in the sense that after the ideas have been sent in, uh, only a limited number of them go onwards into the voting process itself. It's, uh, it's 20 ideas per each neighborhood. 
And we had, I think, uh, I don't remember the exact number, but it was 900 and something. Hold on. I'm finding a slide here. Right there. Yeah, and we had 911 ideas coming in uh, from the IPA generation for, for uh, this year's Better Neighborhood, but there were only uh, 200 ideas being voted on. And one criteria is obviously how many people uh, supported this idea, uh, but also what happens is that a lot of ideas get thrown out because they are not applicable maybe on, uh, on the grounds that the city doesn't own or, or, or all kinds of other things too expensive, etc. But it also gives a lot of power to the city planning uh, department because they can, well, not quite pick and choose, but they do have quite a bit of the, the uh, influence on what ideas will go on and what ideas will not go on. So that's actually uh, something that is, has been annoying some people because they have come and said, why is my idea not here? It was not that expensive and, and that, that, that. And maybe it was because the idea didn't get enough support or maybe it was because there was a similar idea or, or another idea that the planning uh, thought was a better idea, which is obviously not the crowdsourcing mentality, if you feel me, but it's still using the expertise of those people, so it's not like it's all bad or corruption or anything, because the rules are really clear from the start. Uh, that looks for better neighborhoods, but in a more general way, is that there is a way to do this much better, but I don't think anybody has done it as of yet, or not that I've heard of, and it takes more time, and obviously money as well, and that is to have a second round of the ideas where you have already filtered out impossible ideas to expensive, etc. And then you throw the ideas into the second round, and that round is not for deciding how popular they are or not, it's for people to add to the ideas, for people to say, okay, I really think you're doing this like that, and have a debate on what is the best way to do the idea. And this would be some, to a certain point, like designing, uh, designing the idea by the people. And this would, as far as I know, there's no specific software available today to do this, but it wouldn't need to be that complicated. But it does add, would add another layer to the process and as for in that neighborhood here, I don't see anything because this the, the current process is quite taxing for the city as it is. So it, it's quite a lot of work. So I don't think we're interested in having more work in you know what I mean. But, but this would this is definitely something that would be possible to do. And and you said at the beginning that the, that people can use like um, graphic description of their proposals. Yes, if you add an idea, if you add an idea to your priorities, you're encouraged to add at least one photo or one picture. And sometimes some people add it more than that, but you can as well if you want to. Okay. So uh, let let me see. I'll see if I can find an example of this for sure. Uh, just a moment, things are loading. Mm Most of what people did this year was to uh, find pictures from somewhere else and saying we should do this here. Uh, oh, okay. I'll give you one example here at the moment. 
pasted the link on the chat. It should be to your right somewhere. Yep. I, I, there were actually also quite a few ideas where people <coughs> were drawing in on the. Yes, here is one example where. People are using mostly photos to illustrate what they're trying to say. And there are very few items that that got into the voting that don't have any graphical elements at all. Yeah, here's probably the best example of what I was telling you about. Sorry, it took so long. The last one really illustrate that quite well in that there's this photo and and it says in Icelandic you see that thing already it's got a uh, the last one is, is photo. and the, the bubble on the left says uh, uh, grown-ups uh, uh, older older people uh, social activities and then on the right, the bubble says activities with a program. So there's like different, one of them is open where people are going. And then the red line says uh, uh, we need to have heating in the pavement from, from between those two places. Because the older people are going there in the winter between those two places. And, and it's, yeah, it's not good if, if it's frozen, if you feel me. Okay. So this is an example of what I was saying. Really simple stuff. Somebody probably did that in paint or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. And it doesn't take any any expertise, and but adds quite a lot to the text because with only the text you wouldn't really know what the ideas of you know, without the picture you wouldn't really know as well what the what the idea is about. Yeah, it's interesting this this idea to to promote people to 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 do this kind of things to the to the tool to to add some some graphic description is I think it's good. And it's the thing that we found out is that it all not only does it add to the sort of the idea itself but what it really does is uh, it makes things it can make things go viral if you see what i mean because if uh -huh. you just see a drawing then then it, or a photo then it's much more interesting than just text so yeah yeah okay okay and and also to you said that that you have um you have for example this first step you have like 900 uh, proposals or ideas mm -hmm. and then uh what i don't un i didn't understand uh, uh, very well is is how do you select which proposals are going to be done and uh, how how you inform uh, citizens that uh, their proposal, for example, if I made a proposal or an idea and goes to to city council and city council uh, doesn't select to to do it, uh, how city council inform me that uh, it's not going to to be a selected idea and and if he give me some some information uh, about why uh, it's not my idea uh, selected I mean the the selection process is quite 
number one, it's the number of uh, votes, or it's not only really votes, but the number of people that support the idea in the IT generation phase. That's one item. And if then if the ideas are not approved for some reason, and obviously they don't go onwards, and then if the the uh, Reykjavik City Planning Department which has some say in this, but also especially if there are missing ideas or if there, if there are not enough ideas, which doesn't happen anymore, but used to happen, or also if the ideas uh, that have been uh, collected are not, uh, I don't know how to do it, the, the neighborhood councils of Reykjavik, there's a neighborhood council for every neighborhood, and if they can see that there's a, there are lots of ideas that are only within a specific area of that neighborhood, but not any project in other areas, then they can uh, have take out one idea and put in another or things like that. Okay, so uh, I'll say, okay, so so they can, for example. I don't know, erase or, or met or merge uh, two or three or uh, ideas that are the same and and just uh, inform they, they they inform I guess that they inform the citizen that made that, yeah, that idea that's, that, that that's what should be happening, but which uh, the city has not always had the uh, the resources to do that, but it uh, it's something that's really important is that at the moment, or when you know which ideas are going to go onwards, then they really should be sending going. This is something to do within your system, is if you change the status of an idea, which only administrators can do, so you would change it to accepted or denied, for example, and then you have a, a small box for writing explanations into, and when you hit the submit, then both the idea should change its status, but also there goes an email to everybody that interacted with that idea. Okay. And the problem has been that that has not, like I said, the city doesn't have, ha hasn't had the resources to do that properly all the time. I'm not sure how it was this year, to be honest. Okay, okay. And, um, and well, a general question is that, that through the system, mm, uh, do you have more uh, proposals from communities or individual, or do you not have any data about this, or yes, I don't know? Uh, we don't really know. Uh, in that sense, we don't have like specific data on that. But okay. uh, inferring from what we see, then it, it all, almost all of these days is individual. Uh, the only sort of organizations that we know that have been active as organizations, and that Reykjavik in, in particular, are the cyclist lobby group, uh, the dog owners want to have uh, what's called like a dog fence. It's like a small place where they can have a dog running without uh, without a leash. And uh, I think there was a third group, but I'm not sure. I've forgotten what it was. But that doesn't really matter because the main thing is that almost almost all the ideas that I have been looking at are sent in by individuals. Those individuals may or may not belong to a group, but it's still being sent in as individuals. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, yeah, but, uh, for example, yeah, here, strictly, here. strictly speaking, if we would go exactly by the rules of of the Reykjavik, then we would not allow groups to create users on the system. But as it has not been a problem, I can recall it happening once. Uh, and it was it meant in a good way, and they were just trying to further their uh, making better schools for the children. Uh, then uh, we didn't do anything about it because it was not it was not against the spirit of the of the better Reykjavik, you see what I mean? Even though strictly speaking, 
in case it was a breach of, of the rule. Yeah, but no, of course, and, and I think that, that we believe in, in uh, doing as little administration as we possibly can, because every intervention, every negative intervention uh, has negative uh, uh, re results or negative things coming out of it, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Yeah, but I mean, here, for example, it's also that mo most uh, proposal comes from from individuals, not from not from organization or politics or, or associations or, or communities or whatever. But but it's true that the proposal that comes from from uh, uh, very good organized uh, uh, communities, uh, for example, mm -hmm. as you said, uh, this. Uh, uh, like uh, bikes uh, rider um, lobby, uh, the, that proposals go farther. I mean, and that that proves that if you have like a network behind you, if you have uh, an organization, if you have uh, an, an organized group behind the proposal, you're going to have more chance to to make it to to, to have the, propo the proposal done. Mm -hmm. uh, instead, instead of of of, uh, of trying to make uh, your own, or I don't know how to say. So, I think it, it could be interesting to, of course, I I think that this kind of of tools and processes has to uh, has to have uh, both options. I mean, you can you you can. Make a proposal as an individual or as a community or as an association, wherever. But it was good to try to to explain this to citizens that okay, you can make it as your own, but if you are able to 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 build like a a group around your proposal, a group of people that are agree with you, and if the digital tools. Uh, uh, allows you or facilitate this association is going to be better for you. It's going to, to be better for for your for your proposal to, to go further. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we have actually always, when asked, we always encourage pressure groups to participate in better Reykjavik and on better neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, there's two basic reasons for that. One is that it's much, much better to have the pressure group opinions out in the open than, than trying to influence the politicians and, and uh, officials behind the curtains. And we believe that if the cyclist pressure group would like, which they didn't, but if they would have gotten out of hand and somehow taken over the system, which I don't think is, well, it hasn't happened yet and I'm not sure it's possible. Uh, but if they would have, then I'm pretty sure that the the car people would have come in and countered that, if you see what I mean. Because, mm -hmm. and that's really also the second reason, is that democracy, like it or not, as we practice it and, and at its core, is about the rule of the majority. Mm -hmm. It's about the rule of the majority that participates. Whether you're talking voting or participated democracy, it doesn't really matter. Even if you're talking small meetings, the person that comes to the meeting prepared with ideas and, and stuff, that person generally owns that meeting, if you feel it. Unless, uh -huh. unless there's another person that's also prepared, and then we have the, probably the best side of democracy, if you see what I mean. Then we have good information from both ends and people that are passionate for both ends, and then we hopefully have a good debate and and just possibly a result that is listening to both sides. That's of course the idea, which we unfortunately don't get as often as as, as we would like to. But the thing is that if let's say a cyclist people would be really a strong pressure group then that's because there are a lot of people that believe in it. And when a lot of people believe in something in a democracy, then uh, if there are much fewer people that don't believe in it, they should not be able to stop the others. 
like it or not. Uh, mm. But on the other hand, obviously, uh, this is a shortcoming of democracy. Is the, 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 this, uh, this ground rule that the majority uh, rules is it probably one of the worst things about democracy in a, in a, in a, in a sad way because uh, something like reaching a consensus which is a much better way of solving things whenever possible it tends often, not, thankfully not always, but tends often to be left behind when somebody has a majority and they just force their things down the throats of the minority. So it's, it's not a problem with, with uh, any of the democracy software. It is a core issue with democracy. One of it for, yeah, that's more or less what I can say about that. So there are no, there is no instant simple rules saying this is good or this is bad. This is just different sides of democracy. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's one of the, I mean, of the main debates about this kind of tools. Also, I mean, one thing that that I I think that you you can do to try not to to have this like like this uh, uh, hegemony. I, I don't know if it's the word in English. Uh, Harmony. No, harmony. No, it's. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know that. What, what if you don't, yeah, if you don't want to, to for for that majority to to rule so much, uh -huh. because because how is it? Can you write it in the message box in Spanish? So just yeah. Ah, hegemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I understand. Yeah. So yeah. if you if you don't want if you don't want that 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 majority have have that have that kind of of, of of power because sometimes I mean when you have a system that you have to vote, for example, also in in this the digital tools, uh -huh. this this uh, this conflict between majority and minor, in minority I think is 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 bigger because it's 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 accountable. I mean, it's like okay if if I have just one vote more than you is is going to be what I want. So. It's like it's not just about minorities. It, it it can be even, almost even, and and it's going to be what I want because I have like one one vote more. But so if you want to have this like uh, not to happen, this just to and I think that as you said, just to to have this kind of uh, debates or when you have you can. Deliberate about uh, how to 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 take decision and to make decisions together in this debate. Even in in this kind of uh, ecosystems and, and vice, it's going to be uh, it's going to be also the majority who is going to rule. And and this majority uh, in this kind of of ecosystem, not voting but uh, deliberating or debating and arguing. It's going to be sown by, by I don't know, as you want. The, the majority is going to talk more, or the majority is going to have the debate better prepared, or something. So it's going to be always this kind of uh, uh, not uh, uh, equilibrium between. And I mean, you could even say just not fair because. It's, I mean, democracy ideally should not be about resources or about how much money you have, etc. Uh, but yeah, this is the world we live in. It, it, unfortunately, when you have lots of time, you have an extra leverage, or when you have lots of money, you have extra leverage. Yeah. Well, but this this thing is also, I mean. I, I don't like also I, I don't like neither this idea that that all for example in, in one group all of us has to have the same or, or has to to put the same time for example mm -hmm. I mean because this is is like 
why i mean it's we are we are we have different i mean it's, it's going to happen people is going to put maybe more time in one thing and another thing so this is what i what i what i was saying i mean it's not about making this difference like this mm -hmm. it's it's about i think it's about mm, trying to build a, a system or a logic that trying to do this mm -hmm. trying to trying to to try to reequilibrate this kind of difference just to make it just to make it better not not to put i mean and that's what i was saying in in a in a voting system is is mm -hmm. like this i mean it's, it's like all the, the 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 power is for the that majority and the my, the minority doesn't have anything so if you don't have this like voting system and, and you have like debate spaces and deliberating spaces is going to be lower and if you have another thing i don't know like trying to to build tools and and systems then that trying to re-equilibrate this is going to be people can cannot uh, capitalize and cannot capitalize i don't know whatever uh, whatever case may be but never 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 is going to be like this and, and maybe it's not neither is good to be like like this because it's not real <laughs> i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. whether you talk you talk about money but but whether you talk about time uh, i don't know resources and uh, whatever it's not going to be equal mm -hmm. in in any in any subject i don't know so, but, but, it, but it's a complicated issue, so. It's a complicated issue, and, and for sure, and I mean, there are there are ways to work around those things, uh, uh, like, for example, just uh, focusing on areas or communities where where there is little money and, and giving them more authority over their own uh, uh, issues and things like that. It's, it's not like it's... Uh, it's not like there's only one way to do this, because it's not. There is, there are so many possibilities. So, uh, yeah. it, the, the thing that the, the part of the problem sometimes becomes that uh, that people, um, uh, how shall I put this? People think that the most fair way to do things is by being mathematically equal. Yeah. And it's not. It's almost it's it's a simplistic way of doing it and sometimes it works, but in general it's it's not the fairest way to do things. But it's so can be so much so complicated to do it any other way. You know what I mean? Because then you yeah. then, then so that's the difficult part. But the, the from my point of view, from what I've seen is that this is something that people, if, when explained to them and when involved in those uh, decisions, people understand that this is uh, that, that that fair is not like overall fair. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's yeah. It, it's a complicated issue for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just to. Move forward. There's another thing that I, I take here some notes. It's about one one diagram that that that, that uh, it was curious for me. It was that it was the participation statistics. It was about a better neighborhood, and uh, every year go lower. And then one year, I, I don't have here the the graphic, but then one year goes uh bigger than any year so i don't know it was uh, it was about what what happened here <laughs> what happened this year i don't know if you if you know the the diagram that i'm talking about i'm trying to find it which one about the, the number of ideas or the participation sorry no, the part particip participation yeah so when you see the diagram it's it's actually simple. Uh, in the in the uh, 2013 and 2014, uh, the things were generally being done more or less the same way as in 2012. 
uh, with not an increase in in the in the budget of the PP and not an increase in the uh, okay. marketing budget and generally uh, this is what happens with projects like this or actually any web oriented pro project if it doesn't evolve then it dies and obviously it was not that with the participation of 5.5 percent but still on the way down so in 2015 we actually managed to convince the city that they needed to improve the marketing budget okay and also the marketing tactics so in that year they actually uh, had us doing the the uh, the online marketing for them mostly but also working with them to educate the the city uh, administrative people and then in 2016 uh, basically two things happened we kept on with a similar marketing strategy but what happened was that the uh, the uh, budget of the PP was uh, raised from 300 million Icelandic kroner and up to uh, uh, 450 million, which is, sorry, I'll find the euro. It went from 2 million euros to 3 million euros, the total budget. So that was one thing, which I don't, I have no idea how much that affected things. But the other thing was that we had we were using the new version of, uh, of your priorities, and basically people started sharing the ideas, and some of them went viral. So at one point in the beginning, I think after three or four days of the uh, of the idea generation, uh, then we were uh, seeing uh, 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 one idea was accounting for almost uh, 50, or more than 15 percent of the of the uh, usage. If you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. So. so having the graphical layout having people able to play with the things also in the voting system uh, the thing is that if you if you're doing any kind of e-democracy project it has to be fun for people to participate uh, for the first time people may do it because they think it's a good idea or maybe because they think they ought to but in general they will not come again and they will not participate more and more unless it's more fun than hanging out on Facebook. Mm -hmm. you see what I mean? It's, uh, and yeah, it's, it's actually, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to compete with Facebook in that way because obviously also people have the correct sense of having an effect on their surroundings and being able to, to have an influence on things. And that obviously counts as well, especially when they know or are told afterwards that their work has been useful. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's the best people need, all of us need the reward for participating. It doesn't matter how patriotic we are or, or what kind of, what, how much we love our neighborhoods, etc. We need some sort of reward for doing things. And one very simple reward, and one of the best ones, is that somebody is using the work that your time was not spent on nothing but your mm. time was well spent and other people appreciate it most of us really find that a great reward in you know I mean? yeah yeah okay and also well i would i just wanted to show you um well just to finish by by my part if uh, uh one thing that i wanted to to show you is the um, what is it it's here well about the world that that we're doing mm -hmm um well we are starting to to make like the graphic design for well, i mean not not graphic design but but just to whoa, whoa, whoa. sorry yeah the inf information design sort of yeah 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 so we have We 
we should be better quality. I don't know why. See if we could have hinted or so. Ah, here. Okay. Yeah. So here's like. Um, I don't know if, if it seems so small or not. Mm, no, I can I can I can't read it. I can read the headings, but uh, I don't think I need to read it. But I can it see I what it is. It's a timeline on the first to the. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I I I'm trying to to download better because and then I can. Hi, you can hear me? Yes, I can hear now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, here. Yeah, this is, I mean, we're start to, well, my computer is going a little bit slowly. Why I can go? That's French. Well, okay. Well, you can, so, I mean, you can just download the PDF and send it to me as well. Yeah, but I don't know why my my keyboard. Yeah, French. I can see what you're trying to do, and it should work, but I. <laughs> I have no idea know. why it's I not. I don't know what is happening. Why? Well, I don't know. Because right now it's, it's downloaded. I mean, it's, it's a PDF. I don't know. Well, whatever. More or less, it's just to show. I mean, I don't know if you have access to this folder. I, this is in, in Drive. If you don't, I, I can send you if you want to, to check it out. It's yep. just uh, it's just the first draft uh, that we made about more or less what is the, the images of, of the project that you can see like ba basic statistics here about the participation or, or support of the project and whatever yep. uh, in, a, in a timeline for example and here the timeline of the project so you can see all the up updates mm -hmm. for the project for weeks months years and also uh, a search mm -hmm. And then you have like uh, basic data of the project, and then this is like uh, different information that you can you can have of the of the of the project. Here you can go to people, so community, so you can see who are the 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 people who are involved with the project in different uh, roles. You can show also spaces that uh, what is it in the map? Also, for example, the documentation that uh, people or city council can upload it. So, all these, for example, uh, documentation or uh, here um, debates or commentaries from people, you can see it also here in the timeline mm -hmm. in, okay. in order. But this is like a filter that you can go directly to. Okay, what is the document the documentation, or what are the debates or commentaries and so on? 
Uh, also the same, for example, for for people. So you have your timeline, and you have like different data from you, like uh, interest uh, that you have, or capacities or whatever. And then the the idea is that the tool uh, can cross these interest or capacities with uh, the tags that, for example, projects have. Mm -hmm. or, or, or also for other people. So here they're going to have like uh, like projects that that you may, may maybe you are interested on because I don't know it's in your neighborhood and you said that you are interested in uh -huh. sport and and it's going to be built. I don't know whatever. So yeah. and also also for 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 people. So. So it's easier to to connect with projects in around you that are going on around you, or, or with people that have the same interests and, and and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here, this, this is like this is like work in progress, but it's like uh, the same. You can you can see what it, what what are the projects that these mm -hmm. men are linked, or I don't know. From what I see, but it would be great if you could send it to me. I'd be interested in in, in viewing it in a in a better resolution for sure. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, of course I can send you. And then we have we have uh, this is like a, a general um, this is like our a general ideas for the for the city of Madrid. And then we ha we have been working uh, also in the specifically in the in the execution part of the project uh, uh -huh. we don't have the um, like that uh, the graphic uh, already but uh, it's going to be something like this because the city of madrid is working in, in in a similar way for legislation and and, and laws and it's about to to make a better description or definition of the ideas that already have been uh, approved like for example okay we, we have the two thun the 200 uh, uh, proposals and now city council people from city council has to uh, make from that an, uh, an execution uh, description of the project so to do that instead of doing by their own is going to build like a draft of that description with the data that they have from the proposal the citizen made mm -hmm. and it's going to make this in an open document like a Google Docs so people can make like documents and can argue to trying to make a trying to read between the community that is behind that proposal and the, the, the people from City Council trying to to make a, a, a better description about that because sometimes for example okay they have a they want to a playground okay but we we need to make a a, a specific de description about which kind of of, of uh, urban uh, furniture do we have in that playground what is going to be that 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 furniture for example i don't know whatever yeah, so, yeah. so this kind of decision can 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 be made it by by citizens and by, by by neighbors, so it's going to be like in a, in a, this kind of of, uh, of Google Doc view that you can make that comments in the document, and then the idea is not to close down the the document here through the through the digital platform. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea of this document is that okay, uh, city council start this kind of draft about the execution uh, of the project, that, that, uh, the description of the project. And then uh, everyone, I mean everyone, the community that is, that is behind that proposal or people which are behind that, that proposal and city council can start the debates here. And the idea is to then go with that, with the main problems that start here and go to a, a physical workshop. And then in that physical workshop, people is going to finally make the final decisions about that that proposal. Mm -hmm. And then then yes. city council 
uh, finally can uh, finish this document with with everything. When City Council finishes this document, can also again upload the final version in the interface in the interface of of the of the proposal here. So everyone is going to see it, and yep. then citizen can go here and see that okay, it's what we were talking about in the workshop, and it's about what we we're talking about. It's like the last check, and then from that. What we are trying to describe then is that for some proposal, uh, not all of them, but some proposal has to, to has something to to as with uh, urban intervention has like a prototyping uh, phase uh, before the final execution. Okay. So, so it's like to make a, a, a real, a one-one model of the proposal. For example, this is one example that, where is it? Mm -hmm. I want to check some, some photos. This is a participatory process that people from CivicWise made uh, some months ago and okay. it's about it's about the square mm -hmm. so they make like uh, different in different days they make like different uh, workshops and then finally they achieve like a uh, design for that square so okay. and in this point when you have the final design of the square is is it, it can be like the same point here, okay? You you build that document, you build that that design of, of the of the project, and you have the final design. You can go to this uh, prototyping phase when where you build the project with uh, low research, and it's like, for example, this kind of uh, balloons represent uh, trees, and here they. Uh, build, uh, I don't know the, the word in English, is it's not a stereo, it's a, uh, I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, it's the, how is it? It's not okay. a stereo. It's, it's you can write the fact yeah. word in there and either I understand it or Google Translate does. So. Galeria is, I don't know how to say in English. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting first <laughs> video. That was beautiful. <laughs> it's also, it, 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 yeah. Anyway, it, it was, that was funny. The window came again and again and again. The same window. I'm not sure about that word. My Spanish is, but not that good for sure. Breaches. Uh, uh, Graderio, Blitzius, it says, I don't really... Well, I mean, here we can put in Google Images, is this... What is the word for this? The seats in... Uh... Ah, like for people sitting on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. At auditorium, kind of, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah here, like, they build this with, yeah. with these little boxes. So in the future, it's going to, uh, in the future, this is going to be trees, and here you're going to have this with with wood, and and here you're going to have like a fountain, and I don't know whatever. So mm -hmm. it's like a make um, celebration uh, of the end of the of the this participat uh, participatory process for, for some uh, proposals. That's a, that's a, that's really cool. And and one thing we have often told people when we're presenting uh, on PP project is something that we haven't done in Reykjavik, but would, would like to be doing is that when you have an idea or something like a, a meeting, then instead of having a meeting, you should have a party. You should have a place where people yeah. come to discuss, but not in a for, well, maybe also in a formal way. But the main focus should be on just people meeting up, talking to each other, shaking hands, pointing out what they want to do, and things like that. Yeah. And because this uh, this physical thing, it's really, really important. It's uh, it's the way we have done our communication since uh, thousands of years, and it's only in the last twenty or so that we moved it online. And 
it's cool, obviously. Online, there's so many things we couldn't do before. But to believe that we can throw out all those centuries of communication experience for something that's just a few years old, it just doesn't make sense when you think about it. So we really must have the physical inter interaction between people as well. Yeah, I mean, there's two points. Two points. It's I can hear me in your microphone. I don't know if. Yes, I can hear you. No, no, but I, me, I, I I'm here like. I'm yes. Hearing me yeah, okay. in your. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's here or not. I think that this is. It's not here, maybe. Uh, let me check because there is a, an interesting uh, project that make also this like this prototyping uh, phase, but in another point of view, which is it's also like a celebration, of course, because it's like everyone in the place, the building, the the thing, mm -hmm. but it has also. Uh, this idea to not just to celebrate it, but to so you can test the place. You can test the the idea that you are uh, that you have for for that space. So mm -hmm. yeah. because in, in because in this case, this was just for one day. It was like this kind of celebration and general view of the design, mm -hmm. but in this one. That I'm trying to show you if I can. I just realized that uh, I, there's like 10 minutes to the next meeting. So okay, okay, okay. But, but we can, if you want to, we can we can arrange another chat. This is most most useful and, and enjoyable to me as well. So if you want to, but I have to, I can't skip. That okay, meeting. okay, okay, okay. No, just. Yes. I, I, I just wanted to to show you more or less uh, our idea so you can I, I'm going to send you also so yeah, yeah, okay cool definitely yeah. if you have also any any idea that comes to your mind any feedback about whatever you can uh -huh. yes definitely you yeah. can tell us I mean send, send me and anything that you think it would if you would get want to get feedback on for sure I mean, it's, uh, for, for many reasons, okay. we, we, we really, really want to help you in, in, in every way that we can because, yeah, for many reasons. Both, both, because, okay, okay. both because it's a brilliant project that you're doing and also for personal reasons because the, the times I've been to Madrid and the people I met from there, yeah, it's my kind of people, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to send you the, the graphic. Uh, uh -huh. The, the description document mm -hmm. and also the link to the to the website that we made for the project that uh, we are going to I mean right now you can find there everything about the project and we are going to upload the there like the final documents for the projects and and wherever so so yeah. you can also check it out if you want it's in Spanish but Maybe it's you can not a problem I can read simple Spanish and Google Translate does the rest and. Okay, okay, I, okay. I can see when Google Translate is doing stupid things and, and figure it out. So it's a uh, it's good, good exercise for me as well. So. Okay. Okay, so, well, uh, well, thank you. And maybe we can, we can yes. set, uh, we can arrange another, another meeting next week. I don't know. We can, we can talk yeah. about it. I'm going to send you the, the email with, with, uh, with what, what we are doing. And if you mm -hmm. have any idea, you can, you can tell us and yeah. uh, do, you, do you want to schedule a meeting now or, or should we just be in contact well right now I don't know because because next week is going to be maybe complicated for me okay no problem just send me a document so, and I'll have a read okay. to them and, and and send you an email back and we'll we'll find a time for for, for another another chat for sure okay, okay. perfect okay okay cool thank you for now man
Thank you. Good and best best of luck with your project. <laughs> it's really ambitious. <laughs> Thank you. I like I like Thank what you. you guys have been doing. So it's <laughs> great to be a part of that, even a small part. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for your yeah. time. Yeah. Another time. Ciao. Ciao.